So here are two containers, one filled with air and another filled with another gas made out of glass and then a thin plastic on the top. And so for the most part, you know, completely transparent both directions. You know, you can see that uh, the light travels right through it quite easily. So let's switch to the infrared spectrum. So here it is in the infrared spectrum. As you can see, the heat from my hand. And putting my hand on the table, you can see that it leaves a heat imprint. And so with the first glass, you can see that my hand behind, through the glass can't be seen. However, if I look through the plastic, all right, you can see my hand through the plastic and through the, ga gla the gas that's inside it, okay? But the other 5-inch container is filled with a global warming gas. As you can see, my hand is barely visible through the gas because the infrared wavelength isn't making it through that transparent gas. Transparent in the visible frequency, but in infrared, which is 200 times longer wavelength, cannot be seen. So as you can see back in the visible fre uh, light frequency spectrum, both containers are completely transparent. And the eye can see the red frequency of around 750 nanometers, the green at um, about 540 nanometers, blue about 450 nanometers and then if you're seeing violet that's down to about 380 nanometers as far as the wavelength the infrared spectrum you saw before 10,000 nanometers very a very much longer wavelength compared to our visible frequency